bring your head back to neutral. And now I'm going to bring, I would bring her to Barry or somebody who's having sciatica and they would go, okay, that's all I can do. I can feel it now. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's causing me a little bit of pain down the back of my leg. I would back off to the inner barrier zone a little bit. I would add a little dorsiflexion to the foot. Yeah, that's, that's okay. I think I can handle that. So that's all I would do right now. And then I would have her start to tuck her chin to put some, to pull the nerve that direction. That may be too much. So I would let off the dorsiflexion. Now come back. And then I would add the dorsiflexion and come on down. And then come back and add the dorsiflexion. And if they can handle that, we can go ahead and tension the nerve completely so I could have her come into chin tucking. And we both come out at the same time, keeping the knee straight. If you have a problem with it, some people like to get up here. Some people just the people in the workshop that I've taught this to. But this is a lot easier way than doing the supine. Okay, a lot of people are going to feel stuff in the low back when they get into this, this just this much of a C-curve, right? So if they do, if you want to know if it's something central here, if there's something pulling it centrally and not sciatically, then we're going to have Amanda cross her arms like this across her body. I'm just going to come in like this and lift her while she, I keep her slumped to keep her completely slumped, but I lift her. And if the low back gets better, then it's some sort of central problem. And it's not a, we know it's not a sciatic problem. It's pulling from somewhere in here. And now come back through the pattern yourself. So she, she neck flexes, she thoracic flexes, she lumbar flexes, she extends the knee, we, of course you do both sides, and then she dorsiflexes the foot and stops uh, if there's any pain during any of these motions and just kind of uh, works through it, you know, just a little bit at a time, just through dorsiflexing, letting off, or she can come back up with the head and take the pressure off, pulling with her toe, you can floss the sciatic nerve, and then if she comes down with the head, she can let the pressure off. That's more of a floss, up and down just kind of working with it on both ends, right?